Hello, folks. Uh, today I have come up with a question which is uh, emotionally uh, attached with me. Uh, this question is concerned with the chapter of electrostatics, electrostatics or electric field, we can say, or more uh, specifically, I can say that it's about capacitors. Uh, I, I, I feel uh, this question emotional because it was the question uh, which was asked to me, asked to me when I had a trial class, trial class uh, during my initiation as a, a teacher of physics physics in uh, plus two level plus two level so uh, one uh, when I passed that exam when I passed that uh, trial class then only I was uh, I was given the uh, appointment in that institution so it's about 20 years back 20 years back so this was asked to me by students and yes I ans answered it uh, uh, properly I suppose and that's why I was selected uh, for the job uh, so uh, it says that um, in a series arrangement of capacitors each capacitor has the same amount of charge in their corresponding plates Y. So, uh, in parallel, what we have is uh, the charge, uh, uh, let us say, comes from the source. It uh, divides into several branches and uh, charges get deposited in each plate according to their capacitances. And the PD was same. But here, what we have is uh, the PDs are different, the capacitances are different, but the charges deposited will be same. So what we have is uh, here we have got uh, uh, equal amount of positive charges in the upper plates of all and equal amount of negative charges in the lower plates of all. So why does that happen is the main theme of the question. So this happens because uh, the deposition of charges here is uh, mainly because of induction. Induction uh, from here to here. So till here it is conduction, conduction and from here to here it is induction. So let's uh, go through it, uh, it in detail as you know that a, a capacitor has a medium in between generally and uh, that medium has got atoms and molecules so let us say let me draw this plate draw this plate so the plate is there and this plate is over here so we have the plates here so once this becomes negatively charged once this becomes negatively charged it will be <coughs> affecting the molecules here and the molecules which were uh, uniformly uh, uniformly shaped in the beginning uniformly shaped because they have got a nucleus here they have got uh, electrons orbiting around the nucleus in a specific orbits such that the electrons were uh, electrons were placed uh, uniformly so i drew uh, nine there it's not nine it's eight so let us say i have got such molecules like this so let, let me let me draw large one let me draw large one like this so in these molecules we have got electrons distributed normally in the beginning it was like this so eight electrons here once it becomes negative what it does is it starts to repel these electrons and it also starts to attract the nucleus towards itself so what happens now is the molecules will slightly become like this now what happens what happens what happens the electrons will be more focused here more focused here more accumulated here and the nucleus slightly shift towards here slightly it's not much slight and because of that, uh, uh, the shape of the atom changes. As you know that, when matter accumulates, when matter accumulates somewhere, the shape changes. For example, the, uh, for example, uh, the double chain that we see here. So uh, when a lot of fat accumulates, uh, it goes somewhat like this. Uh, let us say uh, our waistline, waistline, often called as love handles, of course. Our, 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 our stomach, stomach, so if it is large enough, it just bulges out like this. It comes down like this. And uh, of course, our heaps also and lots of things. So let's not uh, uh, call all their names. So even 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 the, our chest also, just like this, just like this here also, lots of fat. So uh, it's a biological example. So we have got lots of other examples as well. So if there is mass accumulation, so the shape changes. So what happens is these electrons are trying to go up, and this plus thing tries to go down. So that's why the molecules will change shape like this. So these electrons trying to pull up. And this plus charge trying to pull down, change like this. And this process is called polarization. This phenomenon is called polarization. So the atom has got polarized in between uh, negative end and positive end. So as a whole, as a whole, I can draw these atoms like this. I can draw these atoms like this. So now the atoms become, the atom becomes somewhat like this. It elongates. It is negative end, positive end elongates negative positive elongates negative positive and elongates negative positive 
like this. Now this will do the same to other molecules here. So that's why the other molecule also happens like this. So it is a, a plus minus, plus minus, plus minus and plus minus. Now it reaches this plate, this plate here. Now in this plate we have got, it's a conductor connected with the, with the lower plate of another capacitor. So this is the upper plate of this capacitor and this thing is lower plate of this capacitor. So lower plate of this capacitor. So what happens is, since this is negative, negative, it has got, it is a conductor, conductor, conductor. So it has got lots of free electrons. So this negative end will push the free electrons. So this negative thing will push the free electrons. So they are pushed here and the push, the ability to push depends on how much charge has come from here. So let's say, let me say this is 4, let's, uh, let's make it 4, 4, 4 like this. So this charge can be more than this. It's because uh, of the phenomenon of charge conservation. So if it is uh, 4 negative, it should be 4 positive. If it is 4 positive, it is 4 negative. It's because uh, the charge has been redistributed within the same atom. If it is 4 negative, it should be 4 positive, 4 negative. And if it is 4 negative, it should be 4 negative. And if it is 4 negative, this should be 4 positive. So, its case finished. Now, this has become negative. It does the same to this plate as well. This plate as well by modifying the molecules here. Modifying the shape of molecules here. So, it will be somewhat like this. Minus plus minus plus. It becomes plus. And again, it goes up. And it does the same to all the capacitors. So, whatever be the number of capacitors connected, same thing happens here. So, that's why the charge here will be, it is a minus 4, it is plus 4, it is minus 4, it is plus 4 and so on. So, it can be minus 4 and it can be plus 6 because charges cannot, uh, um, cannot add up by, by own self. And it can be minus because it's about induction. So, when induction happens, when redistribution happens, if one end becomes positive, the other has to become negative. It can't change. So that's why all of them will have this Q. Q plus Q minus Q, same charge. And because of that, what happens now is the capacitances are different. The charges are same. So the potential differences will be different. So that's why we have a V1 equal to Q by C1. V2 is equal to Q by C2. And a V3 equal to Q by C3. So Q is same. C1, C2, C3 different. That's why V1, V2, V3 will be different. So that's how the charges will be same in all the capacitors in series.